In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a absolute money play that you can call out of the trips tied in formation to literally be able to break down every main coverage in Madden 23. Now, I love the trips tied in. Personally, that's what I like to run as a Madden player. I think that it combines uh, just incredible spacing with also incredible route combinations. And I actually have an entire ebook devoting to teaching you everything that I know and I've learned over the years about the trips tight end formation. So if you want to check out my trips tight end offensive ebook, make sure you join my Patreon. There's a link in the description below. You can sign up for the Patreon and get access, immediate and unlimited access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. We already have nine ebooks out, including the trips tight end, and we're also going to be updating all of our ebooks throughout the year, as well as adding new ebooks uh, pretty much every week is our goal, or at least as much as we possibly can. So again, make sure you're in the Patreon. Patreon members get access to all ebooks and all updates as long as their membership is active and it's only ten dollars to sign up there's a link in the description if you want to check it out but let's go ahead and jump into this breakdown under the trips tied in and i'm going to be showing you my favorite play in madden 23 right now and the play is pa slot corner now this play is one of the most versatile plays in madden 23 and uh, we're going to show you why in this breakdown so you guys might be um as i am too uh you know just having challenges with the man-to-man -man meta now i recommend if you're going to run an offense in man 23 that you use the ability outside of printouts i talked about it um in yesterday's video you can check that out over at the channel uh but what we want to basically do with this play or at least this is the way that i like to run it i've got a couple different setups i'm going to share with you in this video but one of my favorite plays is to put the outside receiver on a c route i'm going to motion him across the formation and i'm going to drag my tight end so what I basically have is a high-low on the left side, and basically every route on the field has a pretty decent shot at beating man-to-man. -man. You're going to see here that the best route is probably this post route over the middle, and that's going to require them to have to use that route to be able to defend this. Now, another way that we can utilize outside apprentice in this is by using this little post uh, on the outside and then basically motioning this guy over and creating uh, that post as a corner route to the outside. Now, I will say that this corner route in practice mode is going to probably be a little bit less effective because I don't have the ability short in elite on this player. If you don't have outside apprentice, just make it a flood concept just like that. Uh, but what you'll see here is when he cuts to the outside, a lot of times you can kind of throw that. As you see, because I don't have short and elite, um, I'm kind of having a little bit of trouble getting the completion. Uh, but the beauty of this play, like I said, is you just have so many resources uh, within the, these just basic routes out of this play are pretty effective um, against man-to-man. -man. You'll see here that this C route has a pretty good chance at winning. Also, this corner route to the outside, if you got a good free form, you'll be able to throw that. Again, I've got a tutorial coming on free form passing soon. I am personally am still learning how to do this, um, but I have found that if you can master this, it can certainly help your offense more so than it can hurt it. Now let's say that you wanted a little bit more of a simple setup that I think is really effective. One of my favorite ways to run this play is to uh, basically put the fade on the outside or the streak. I'm going to put the flat route to the slot receiver. And I'm going to show you something kind of interesting with that in just a second. And then we're going to put the tight end on a smart route and in route. You could also put him on a basic in route or a curl depending on what coverage you're anticipating. I personally really prefer the 5 or 10 yard in route most. Anyways, what you're going to see here is on the left side, uh, sometimes this fade route, here you're not going to see, we're going to get it, uh, but sometimes that fade route can be really, really effective uh, against man-to-man. -man. But this play right here is one of the best plays in the game for breaking down zone and breaking down man. Against man coverage, you're going to pretty much want to throw this, uh, this corner route to Keenan Allen. Uh, as you can see him just getting absolutely smothered uh, by the Packers here in rags. All Madden man coverage is just different. Uh, but again here, you can see that if I get this with a good, good outside pass lead, I'm going to be pretty effective at beating that. Now the other thing that I did want to point out is that this fade route on the outside can actually get pretty decent separation. You see how they kind of bump into one another and then you can get this over the top. That actually happens a lot more consistently than you might think. 
Now, this play is also incredibly effective against zone coverage. Pretty much any zone in the game, this is going to do a really good job of breaking it down. This corner route is your main read on the play, as you see Kenny Clark just go absolutely insane on the line of scrimmage here. But basically what you're going to get, you're going to get a couple different things, but basically what we're looking for here is if their user stays in the middle of the field, then we're going to be able to hit this corner route. If he goes to the outside, then we're going to be able to hit our dig route. But as you can see here, this corner route just gets in such a soft spot against zone. It's really difficult to stop this corner route consistently. Um, and even if they're running like a cover four, I will say that cover four uh, out of all of the coverages to me probably honestly does the best against this play. Uh, but again, they're going to have to get out of the middle of the field with their user and they're going to have to go guard this corner. So you see here just pass like down and away. And as you can see, I can get that nice little catch on the sideline. Now, what this is going to cause is, again, it's going to cause out of whatever whatever coverage they're running, they're going to have to go user this guy. So to imitate that, I'm just going to man the corner route up, and then we're going to show you why we like to have this little baby in route coming in and behind it, because if that's the case, now that right there is going to be wide open, and we can take that for an easy 10 to 15 yards. So you see how we're able to manipulate cover three and cover two to the sideline. And then a really, I think, important piece of this puzzle is to show you this play against cover two. And this is specifically a cover two sync. We'll show it against cover two cloud in just a second. But against trips tied in, if you have this, you can throw this fade to the outside. If you see that it's cover two, a lot of times it's going to be a one play touchdown. If you have a good pass lead and you have a, a speedy outside receiver that's able to get separation. So as you can see there, we're able to beat cover two. And pretty much any type of cover two, we should be able to fairly fairly easily uh, be able to beat for a one-play score. You see here, that's cover two cloud. I actually prefer that over the soft squat cover two this year. And as you can see, we're able to get another big gainer over top. So you basically kind of force your opponent into either basically playing man-to-man -man or playing some type of double Mabel or playing some type of really disciplined cover four drop defense. And as this continues to happen, it's going to start to open up different things for your offense. But this is one of the best base plays in the entire game. It's my personal favorite play in the game right now. As you can see, it's able just to break down all the different coverages and able to give you multiple options. The other last thing I do want to just point out about this play is there's so many different ways to run it. I gave you just a couple random setups here uh, in this video. In the ebook, we talk even more about this play. This is uh, just such a versatile play. You know, another thing you could do is something simple like this a little flood concept to the right side now looks like a flood to the left but now we're going to flood the zones to the right with a tight end and so it's just such a versatile play again there's so much that you can do with this if you want to learn more about the trips tight end formation make sure that you join my patreon down in the description it's only 10 bucks to sign up and like i said in the intro it's going to get you access to all of our man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks including our trips tight end offensive ebook which is about to receive a major major update this week including all of my favorite route combinations to use with tight end apprentice and outside apprentice coming into mutt wanted to get that out update out for you guys as well so thank you so much for watching the video and again it only takes 10 bucks to sign up for that patreon and get you access to all the ebooks so if you want to sign up head on down to the description of the video click the link to go sign up and hopefully we will see you guys over at the patreon page